Do you know somebody who's always in a perpetual nasty mood? Just nasty. Well, today here at the Hero's Journey with Dr. D, what I'm do I'm going to do, I'm completing a third three-part series of negative thinking, leave home without it. The first one I talked about mood, the second one I talked about temperaments, how everything lingers, and the third one I'm talking about personality traits. So don't go away. Coming up right now. Hey journeymen, journey women, this is a hero's journey with Dr. D here to encourage, to inspire, to educate, and to motivate you, helping you get beyond your first move. And here to help create a better mindset to help you progress instead of digress. So if you find any value in this content, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And how about you help me help you so we can help others. See by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the bell for updated notifications. What you do, you help and you collaborate with me and join me into making it better tomorrow today. A personality trait is a relatively stable, consistent, and enduring characteristic that is inferred from a pattern of behaviors, feelings, attitudes, and habits of an individual. Then that personality traits are frequently they're based in our past emotions, and most of the time, a personality how we think, feel, act is anchored in the past. So to change our personalities. We have to change the memories of the past. We have to get out of the past. And to get out of the past, we have to deal with our thought life. We have to revisit the things that we have hidden so deep inside. The things we have put behind us, we have to bring it to the, bring it to the forefront. Some people say, hey, Dr. D, why go in the past? I would say, you live in the past. You don't have too far to go. So instead of living in the past why don't you just pull the past to the present and deal with it so you can live in the future or you can make a future to live in and what happens is that we do not make the future to live in and we stay consistently living in the past and not in the great past and you have to understand even being in the past that seems like it's good is the enemy of your better because you stay too much in the past of good things. You'll never make great things in the future. Don't you know people, some uh, friends that always reliving their high school uh, granddaughters or when they got touched down or when they, they're, they're this great cheerleader and all this. And it's 30, 40 years ago and they're still in the past. But what have they done now? What have they done lately? It still could be the enemy of your future and stagnate your present. So let's go back and let's revisit moods. See, it's a it's a step to get to personality traits. We all have them. We all have a personality and we all have personality traits, but we have weaknesses and we have strengths. Origin of a thought, as I stated before, is in, it's an incoming data connected with an existing memory. And incoming data with an existing memory, it embeds in your subconscious and it becomes uh, your wheels, it moves you, it's your motor, it's your engine. It's the things you don't even think about. When you get up and brush your teeth and use the bathroom and make that toast in the morning, you don't really think about it. It's the things that are embedded in you. And even the good things and the bad things because you have automatic negative thoughts that have been taught to you from, from youth up. Things that you have a reflex on. Because some a lot of some things you've learned have not made you better. Some things you learned have had a great part in make you bitter. But you don't have to stay bitter because it's all the choice. You control your thoughts. Your thoughts don't control you. But it's what you allow to come in your head, in your mind, and make resonance that control you. So you can dictate and you can make that change. So let's go. So we have moods. And I won't go into moods. You can check out the, the first video in this series. And you can go back and check that out. And I explain in detail uh, what moods are. But what happens that you you receive a thought. 
that you of it may be an incident a situation at work a situation at home uh, arguing with your spouse and it, it puts you in a certain state a state of mind and that state of mind is mood when it lasts from a refractory period of hour to days and then you stuck you stuck in the mood oh man they tick me off and you just stay there so no matter who says anything to you it kind of affects you it it adds on to that mood if you're in the bed you just stay stuck in that nasty mood but then you move you move to t you move from that mood because you decided that the chemicals within your system <laughs> They're not used up. You, you're you not only allowed to linger for a mood, you're allowed to linger into a temperament. And wow, to reflect your temperament. See, we all born with inborn temperaments, but it reflects the temp temperament and you have a strength and you have a weakness, but it reflects the weakness of the temperament and it expounds on that temperament and the temperament, the refractory periods of that temperament is months. Ooh, wow weeks to months so you so you so the chemical is not only linger from mood but it carry over to a temperament a reflecting a temperament temperament that you have not yet learned to cope with and to manage so that's not a good spot to be and then it takes you to and then when you don't deal with it then it goes into a personality trait oh wow and as i explained before a personality trait just like everything I've stated previously, from mood to temperament, all is a byproduct of automatic negative thought that's been implanted or embedded in you from prior history, I meaning to from a youth up. These are things, these are your foundational building blocks of, of patterns of teachings that you've learned through teaching, through environment. You've learned these things, and some things learned need to be unlearned. And you have to take a grasp of what you're thinking and what you're allowed to come to your mind so you can take a grasp of your life. So the personality traits. And this is when people start saying, she's just nasty. He's always mad. He's always sad. He's always miserable. Because now you start... Uh, your personality trait becomes a persistent thing. And it's not just weeks and months, it's years. And if you do not get a grip of how you're thinking and your thought life, your thought life will get a grip of you. And then you end up needing medication because your personality trait will become a personality disorder and you'll become neurotic you'll start cleaning up the, the garbage bin and then you'll clean the sidewalk and then you'll clean the car wipe the tires uh, clean the attic uh, clean the gutter you'll just clean everything else clean everything around you so you can stay away from people you feel that you're coping but you're running you're hiding and that's when your chemical balance it just went way off and that's probably when you're in need of medication because you did not deal with the thoughts. You did not control your thinking, but you did not control what came in and how you process things. The power is in your hand. Do you want control in your environment? If there's anything that I can do to assist you on this endeavor, or this journey of leaving negative thinking at home so you can eradicate the negative thought life let me know click down below in my comment section and look for my website and you can uh, come talk to me further uh, at a hero's journey uh, at my agency which i have been a practitioner for over 15 years i am the behavioral coach at a hero's journey however my goal and my aspirations and my objectives is to help you get beyond your first move so please, when it comes to negative thinking, leave it at home, close to the dumpster. 
and this is the hero's journey with dr d it's inspired to encourage to motivate to educate helping you get beyond your first move and creating a better mindset today if you find any value in this content please don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up and also help me help you so we can help others and by clicking subscribe and clicking the bell the notifications what you do is you help you collaborate with me and help make a better tomorrow today wherever you get up vertical make it your goal in life to move forward never look back here's your everybody <laughs>